All right, so after the first assignment, usually what I do is tell the student how to reset their whatever program they're using. This is common law. Uh, what happens usually is sometimes a student will destroy the program, uh, unintentionally of course, or um, yeah, mess it up to the point where it's just so hideous that they can't work with it anyway. So this is how you reset Blender. Just as an example, I'm going to put another cube out here. Shift D. And that's Shift D, by the way. Okay. Now I'm going to go into user preferences. Under input, let's say I had Maya here, uh, Blender over here and I hit save as default. Okay. Well, the next time I make a new scene, guess what's going to happen? Yep, that's right. Anytime I make a new scene, there's going to be two boxes here and it's going to have that configuration. If I go file load factory defaults, it'll load this. But the minute I go new, it's going to load two boxes again. So you can guess that that would be annoying over the time. Let's look at how fi how to fix this. If I go load factory settings, and then I go save user settings, I go file new, and voila, it's fixed. Okay, That means if I destroy the interface, let's say I have a thing over here, and this over here, and I go uh, file, save user settings, and I go file new. It's going to always look that ugly. But if I go file, load factory settings, then go file, save user settings. Anytime I go file new, it's back to normal. Okay, so this video is just going to be a standalone. I need to have it out there. That way I can give it to the student and say, hey, if you screwed up your Maya, or Blender, oops, my uh, Freudian slip there. Um, if you screwed up Blender, here's how you uh, reset it. So, enjoy this very short video. On to the next video.